Yeah, dude, it's a good bleed. You're gonna stack now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, we just we just came back from Black Widow. Well, to, overall, Dea was is okay with it. I, I I enjoyed it because I think it did what it needed to do for a Black Widow movie. But that was about it. Like I don't think it was an amazing. I want to give uh, it. I want to give it a seven out of ten. Like that's on my scale. But it's kind of like it's, it's a six. hard. I gotta I gotta the the way that I try and compare these solo movies is I try and compare it. How good is it compared to the first Iron Man? Right? Because if you go back and look at the first Iron Man, you're like, wow. Some of it was really good, but there was a lot of parts that you're like, eh, it's It's better know? than the first Captain America. Mm-hmm. It's not as good And as... that's what, yeah, compared to the solo movies. Because when you compare it to the Avengers and Endgame, it's like, bro, nothing stands up I think the shit, closest right? thing it wants to be, so. I think it wants to be a basically more Winter Soldier, but it doesn't do it. Yeah. Because yeah. even the way they start, like, even the way they start the movie, it was just like... I did have fun trying to like figure out what moves Taskmaster was pulling from because he, he oh, Taskmaster had, did go Winter Soldier for a they little while. They had the one of oh. them was the fight between Captain America and possessed Clint Barton because you see it on the screen. That's right. Yeah. 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 You shouldn't that, say anymore because I don't want to spoil it for people. Yeah, we're not spoiling. Yeah. Just uh, I mean, you know, Taskmaster, he does. I think it's. Things. I don't think it's like. I don't. I think it's worth the like the like uh, the price of a ticket. What black? You don't want? You don't think Black Widow is worth the price? I of said the I do. I do oh, think it's okay. worth the price. Of I was the like, ticket. are you kidding me? No, no, no I, I definitely. Think, yeah. What's the point of, of, of a Black Widow movie? I think it gave a. I think it filled Games out her backstory. Story. Yeah, they've been wanting to do this movie since like, God, twenty twelve. Yeah. I think was when when they they've been wanting to do this kind of movie. It's great. It doesn't matter if she's still dead in the MCU or not. It sets up a lot of characters for other things going on. Yeah. Uh, as well as it it explains. It actually, I it, it does add to her character, and I think it was a story that I agree. I'm, I'm very, I'm. It was a story I'm happy was told. I, so. I I agree that it probably should have been done before her death, but when they're 23 movies in, uh, yeah. and they're making movies based on comic books, like right. this is a new to like how comic books function as a medium themselves, right? Like, you, the comic books will go back and retcon well, things or whatever they need to do to tell a good story, right? And I think th- that part's fine. I right? I honestly originally thought WandaVision and Falcon and the Winter Soldier was going to take place the same time that Black Widow did. I thought they were just going to do, like, now that they did Endgame and everything, they were going to do that time gap between Civil War and Infinity War. They were just going to go through the characters and tell individual stories. That'd be stories cool. I would have liked that that's, a lot. That's what I thought that yeah, they were going I, to do with especially those. If they, that's what I, I thought. I think that would have been a better Captain America and Winter Soldier story than what they did do for the TV show, honestly. I totally agree. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, whatever. I think it would have been more interesting because it, it because they all were all of them were on the run. Winter Soldier, Falcon were on the run. Wanda, Vision was te- Wanda was on the run. Vision technically was not, but he was running along with her anyways. Wanda, yeah. So, uh... And then, yeah, I mean, so, I mean, I, that, and then they had the Black Widow movie, and I thought it was all, like, these are all the stories that were told in between those two, so. Yeah. But anyways. We're not talking about that! That is not the movie we're reviewing today. (laughs) Are we just, I guess we can, is that our end? opening do we talk about black widow as our opening to the actual thing I mean, we're talking about you can, that's, that's on i'm you not a bad out, idea you know? i don't know i've i've thought about changing up our intro instead of having like a real intro be like hey oh i mean we do get to that point but it could be your do tease. the this could be your tease for your do next very, episode we you know it's on the docket, we'll probably, as i said we'll probably do fast and the furious next episode but i mean it, but, like i feel like are you just not gonna i've noticed do black well, widow? no we probably will uh, okay but it might be like two weeks out. So I, I told Nessa, we have a lot of movies on the docket coming out in theaters. So we might not be doing any old stuff for a little while. We'll see. Though. That's great. I so, love that. Yeah. Oh, well, it's I exciting. Mean, old stuff's fun too. Though. So, uh, but no, I've, I've thought about changing the intro of this where we, instead of actually just starting with the, that is a lot of podcasts do is like, they just start with open. them. Yeah. yeah well, they just start open. with them just talking about random stuff because people tend to have conversations before the podcast and they're just like, Ah, that was interesting enough. We'll just leave that in. We do that for Revelation sometimes. Right, like exactly. For hey, Larry, thanks for the sub there. All right, uh, I guess I'll do the real. hey Welcome to Positively Reviewed, episode nine. We are one away from ten. Ah. We have missed one week, uh, Nessa's fault, and <laughs> guess what? 
guess whose fault it is that she's not here again? Also, Nessa. <laughs> so, I, you know, I mentioned, on, I think in the last episode, or the E3 episode, we talked about how, well, the last episode we did mention that Nessa probably won't be for this one, but talked about how we were bringing on a guest host, as well as someone who would be the co-host when one of us could not make the show, which was perfect because that tended to be the case. Uh, Nessa is currently moving into her new house, so she is a little busy. And so we brought uh, our boy. Our boy, Dea, is here to be the co today. So, hello, Dea. How's it going, people? I'm back again. Uh, second episode of Guest Hosting. If you missed my first one, that was about two episodes ago. We did... E3. Ah! Xbox. Yeah, we talked about E3. Xbox right. Showcase for E3. Yeah. So, um... Anyways, though... Other than that, let's let's talk about let's talk about what we're gonna do because we we mentioned earlier. I don't know if I'm gonna put that in the podcast or not, but we did mention that we went to Black Widow. But we're not talking about Black Widow today. We're talking about America, America the, the Motion, motion Picture. picture. <laughs> uh, if you guys did not hear about, well, okay, hold on, hold on. Before we get into that. I guess we should talk about what what do you do, do you know what we do in this podcast? Are you aware? Uh, yeah, you, you know what? I want to I want you to give us a rundown of what you think we do on this podcast. On the positively reviewed podcast bot- <laughs> no, podcast. It. Doing great so far. Keep going. Uh we take a piece of media and we review it positively. That's what we do on this podcast. That is that's it. That's the whole thing. I did it, John. Well done. <laughs> so yeah, we if you are new to this podcast, positively reviewed is that that exact idea. We just we take a piece of media, uh, we oh, describe no, why it's the greatest to rooster thing, teeth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we yeah we do any piece of media, whether it's we've done conferences, we've done now a music live stream, yep, we yep. do movies, TV shows. It's kind of the main thing that. And we just talk about it in a positive way. Because you know what? There's enough negativity in the world. Everyone is just wants to hate on everything. And that's not what we do here. Let's talk about all the good things and why we waste our time watching these amazing shows that spent lots of money to make them and how we at least enjoyed. Maybe you don't like it, but maybe you enjoyed spending the time not liking it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, hell yeah. So, and now normally Nessa does all of, all of the... Oh, I didn't ask the question! The question! That's always the open! Alright, we, we'll do the question. I'm all over the place. We're This is a great episode so far. It's awesome. <laughs> Alright, uh, here's the question. We're talking about America the Motion Picture, which is about history. So, American history. Mm-hmm. But here's the classic hangout question. If you could pick three people who are dead to hang out with, anyone from any time, from any place, doing anything, who would you pick? Uh, Who are you doing? One of the robots from Daft Punk because they got blown up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good start. Uh, David Bowie. Uh, All right. Uh, I want one more. Andre the Giant. When did Andre the Giant pass away? Pa- a while that. ago. It was a, a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, that's a while ago. It? Yeah. It was a while ago. Why those three people? I think uh, I think they're all really good at what they do. Honor the Giant was a cool wrestler and also was a cool persona. Same thing with David Bowie, but in terms of music instead of wrestling. And I don't know, the Jeff Punk robot died and it makes me sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what am I picking? Yeah, I have to pick real people, right? I assume. Oh, uh, well, I took our one fake answer, so yeah. Yeah, I guess. All right. <laughs> uh. I always want to hang out with someone like Genghis Khan. I was going to say that, actually, but then I... I Genghis Khan is a BA, man. And then him. Let's do Joan of Arc. Nice. Good choice. I've always been a fan of Joan of Arc. Badass. Badass there. And then... uh, Who would my last one be? I think... Should I do someone maybe a little more recent? I think... uh, Oh, I missed one. Uh, yeah? Well, go for it while I think of this last one. Should have said MF Doom. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do. This might be a weird one. This one might surprise you. Go for it. Notorious Big. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a great one. Yeah, because I. It's just. That mind, could've you said, know? I could have said Tupac Shakur. Now I feel yeah, bad. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> the mind that that guy had is... We would, uh, throw a good, we would throw a good party for dead famous people if we could resurrect them. If we had necromancy <laughs> on our side. If we, we could throw a good party for them. Yeah. I like it. With it. All right. Uh, well, that's the question asked, but now we'll talk about all the... We'll get all the, the stuff that people hear about. But if you're new, we do have social medias. If you want to follow us at Pause Reviewed Pod, uh, P O S Reviewed P O D on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all of those things. We post, we do post the live stream that we do. So we're we're recording this live. We normally record on Tuesday, but we're recording on Thursday. Not that you guys would know if you're listening to the audio, because uh, it's coming out on Friday. Because I have to edit it tonight, which will be fine. It'll. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it'll be totally fine. <laughs> I don't mind it. So, doing that, and but we do post the the actual video version on YouTube and stuff if you want to watch it there. It's also on the on Twitch archives on on uh, my personal channel as well as Nessa's, except Nessa is not streaming it today, so it won't be on hers. So, but just just an FYI, we are going to avoid spoilers the best we can. I feel. There are definitely things we're going to talk about in this because I feel you need to to explain what the heck is going on with the, the movie that we're talking about. But understand that this is also not a super fair and balanced assessment of movies, TV shows, right? We are talking about everything in a positive light. We're trying to leave out the negative. We might have a few small quips to throw at it here and there. But if you're looking for like a 100% a honest review, this is probably not the place for it. So just be aware of that. Uh, but then let's get into it. America, the motion picture. America. The motion picture. The motion picture. <laughs> <laughs> so this came out, for those who don't know, this came out on Netflix July 4th, 2021. So it just came out a few days ago. And it was made by the people who did Archer, Into the Spider-Verse, The Expendables. Uh, just a really wide... Yeah, so like the director was Matt Thompson, who was from Archer. Uh, the writer for it was Dave Callahan, who does a lot of Marvel and DC stuff. Uh, he did Wonder <laughs> Woman, 1984. Oh. <laughs> I mean, great. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but then did do, uh, what? oh, Captain Marvel. So, oh, woo! Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> the two, probably two of the best movies in the Marvel and DC yeah, universe, as we are very well aware. 100%. So. But yeah, America the Motion Picture is it's the greatest piece of media ever created. It was this movie is a retelling, a re reinventing of American history. It is based on real facts and the best way to describe it, we'll get into this in the meaty meat, but the best way to describe this is it is the most factually accurate and inaccurate conversation about america that's probably ever been had you know what it feels like a if, bad trip it feels like if you know how if you were if you grew up in the 2000s you heard of a you, had, you heard of a puppet movie called team america world police a what puppet movie it was made by the same guys that made it has a bunch of puppets in it it's made by the same people that made uh south park the reason i'm mentioning it though is because it has a very uh, specific view of america uh, it's where the America Fuck Yeah song got popular. Gotcha. Yeah, if you remember that. But it feels like if those guys were telling how America was conceived. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's crazy. It's a, it's a hectic... A lot the, happens the best, in an hour and a half. I'll just, again, we'll, 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 get, in, we'll get into the show eventually. Uh, I'll lead you in. The teaser I'll throw out with you is... Uh, benedict arnold is a werewolf <laughs> i forgot about that so <laughs> how can you forget about that what the because 
it when it happened, it shocked me, and I was like, "This, I'm gonna buy into this." And then by the end of it, I, I, you know, I kind of it left my brain, and then I have to remember it now. So, right, that was the whole thing. Well, before we get in, we got the facts section, but before we do that, hmm. news for thought. You got any news worthy stuff we want to talk about? We we want we do this for filler, just in case we need to fill time. News. I have no idea if we need to fill time, but I have. I don't have any news. Uh, Black Widow, go watch that. I guess that's the news. We finally got our first Marvel movie in like two years. Yeah. Uh, I I, I can't really. Yeah, was I don't it? Have any news we that. we had the state of play today from Sony. I yeah. heard that was a bit of a letdown. Death Loop. Uh, but... Nintendo had their OLED. Yeah. Switch. Woo! I guess. Woo! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Definitely going to not buy that personally uh, I, th- I think if you don't have a switch it'll be great for you if but, i can get my hands on one i'll give my switch to my nephew that's yeah, what i plan that's to a do. way to do it too but <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna give you i i have zero confidence in my ability to secure myself an oled switch gotcha yeah I, I that's a good question i wonder if it's gonna be as bad i mean the switches switches have been sold out for a while but i feel it was never as bad as like ps5s i think ps5s got it the worst honestly the series x's and stuff are pretty okay they're still tough to get but they're easier than playstations i think i i have i bought my i got my 3070 and then i lo- never looked back okay yeah i so i went through the pain once and after that <laughs> I'm just, if it happens if it works out for people good for them if not i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah i wonder if the switch is gonna get hit by this because again they were sold out pretty much all at the beginning of quarantine but i don't know if they uh I don't know if they kind of came back and... I walked into, and... not this Target, not our local Target, but the one uh, in the city next to ours. Okay. And I, in, my, in, in front of my eyes, I saw the Animal Crossing Switch. So I don't gotcha. know what that so says. They are, so yeah. they are... I feel they were pretty good about making stock. I feel... I don't know if... I'm sure they're str- struggling from the chip shortage, but they didn't seem to be that bad compared to the other two i felt they made a really big surplus of, of consoles in general so it's hard to say especially with nintendo who does a lot of weird <laughs> stuff when it comes to producing physical things yeah so all right facts section now nessa is usually the one who reads the facts because i've read the facts so i know what they are so this is you i have them pulled up all right we have a little outline yes i make an outline every every episode uh these are facts about the movie in a way is the best way to say it so let's we'll start out with ness's favorite one and i think it's it's now everyone's favorite one is uh how much does it how much money was spent making this masterpiece (laughs) (laughs) so fact number one comes as so uh apparently there is no real idea of how much this cost came out to recently they haven't talked about it yet uh, the average cost of an animated movie, though, is apparently anywhere from ten thousand to two hundred thousand dollars per minute of of actual finished product. So, uh, and that boils down to about fifty to fifty thousand dollars per second, depending Math. on if you're in the ten thousand dollar scale or on the. To- but that doesn't 000. that doesn't add up. <laughs> fifty thousand doesn't equal two hundred thousand and sixty. Maybe seconds. they included CGI. Yeah, budget. well, I, I assume I have no idea what that is, but yeah, when I saw that, they're like, oh, it's ten thousand to two hundred thousand. I wonder if it's a typo, right? Does five thousand equal two hundred thousand and sixty? I don't want to do the math. Right I don't. Now. I don't either. I'm too tired. I, I didn't do the math. That's why. <laughs> well, so I just said I was like, math doesn't work here. That's what I know. Uh, but because we know the movie's about an hour and ninety, or about an hour and thirty. Yeah, uh, hour and thirty eight minutes. The cost anywhere from ninety uh nine thousand nine hundred and eighty thousand dollars to nineteen million six hundred thousand dollars, which could buy you a floating seahorse in Dubai and a Bugatti Charon. Oh, there's more. Oh. So this was it's it keeps going. It's a whole <laughs> and they, it, I found a list of like t- ten things you can buy for twenty million dollars and I thought it was gonna be like things and, that cost ten million. No, they just were like Here's things that cost one to two million dollars. Buy ten, all ten of them. Oh my god! Uh, so yeah, either floating seahorse in Dubai, a Bugatti, uh, or an Orange County home, a Texas doomsday bunker, a Greek getaway villa, uh, Richard Miles RM fifty six zero two Sapphire watch. Uh, apparently, Joker wants one of those. Uh, Learjet forty five Zamb Zambon is a Zambonga. I don't even know Boenga? how to say that. Zamboanga? Zamboanga yacht. 
Uh, Taste of Diamonds Champagne. Is that champagne with diamonds in it or something? I th- no. So they it's the bottle is. It's they have like basically a Superman ish looking logo on it oh for them, but it's got a, a Swarovski or whatever cri- a diamond encrusted Jesus. into the bottle. So you can pop the the diamond out and it's a diamond, but that I mean that's where all the money goes to is that one diamond. Uh, so. uh, a Spanish holiday home in La Meda Alquinta. I'm not sure if I said that right. La Mata. Yeah. Al- Al- Alcante. Lama- Alcante. Uh, or a mega mansion in Hidden Hills, California. Yeah. The mega mansion costs $20 million. Oh, so that's, you can, for the production of this movie, in you can a, buy yeah. a mega mansion. Apparently, Hidden Hills, California is one of the most expensive zip codes in the I'm not surprised. entire United States. If uh, it's a $20 million home, yeah. yeah. So, I I don't know. Have you seen those, like, they, they said floating, I it said floating seahorse. This is why I'm like, I think it was supposed to say Sea House. I don't know. It could be a vessel. I don't know if that's what it was called. Well, that's what it looked like. It looked really cool. It was like... It looked like a bachelor pad almost. It was a if floating the, pad. You live in the stomach of the seahorse and it just goes up like a like a tower and goes down. In a down way, like right? A, it looked just like a floating house in the middle of, of the ocean. But it looked and like a seahorse. In a way, yeah. So it's probably they probably it named had it a the heli pad suit. on top of it and everything. It Jesus was, Christ! It, was, uh, it looked really nice though, and I want one okay. to be honest. It was it was nice enough. I would want one too to then sell it to then do other stuff with the money. <laughs> they had the Texas Doomsday Bunker, which is just an underground like it's just an underground home. It had TVs and it wasn't even good. I was like, this looks like a three star motel too. When, well, when you run, <laughs> when you have so much money. What else do you do with it? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, Doomsday Bunker. <laughs> uh, but like we usually have here, we're going to compare to the cost of raising a child to the age of 18 in Germany, uh, which is about $117,060, which is uh, a note here. Joker says the halo number? Yeah, whoa, 117. Oh, 117, okay. <laughs> yeah, so it co- it's the cost to raise a child to 18 in Germany in euros so what is that that's like so it's it, i'm saying it equals at the lowest amount that ninety eight thousand dollars if it costs if it costs only ninety eight thousand dollars to make this movie which there's no absolutely way. no way no not way. with the actors who are in this but let's just say for argument's sake you know uh, we talked about animation for every uh, animated films are uh the costed out in the terms of minutes and seconds so at the lowest it could possibly cost is 98,000 which there's there's no way but it would be at 98,000 euros or it's 98,712 euros that's what it costs to raise a kid to age 18 but that excludes ages 6 to 12 oh <laughs> so you don't include that if you actually include that that's like a 100 and 56,000 euros. So you can either raise what? Like one child, one to 10 kids from the ages of 12 to 18 in Germany? Is that what you're telling me? If we decided to do something else with the money that we made from what? You want to just raise a kid from like one to six years old or something? And that costs, I don't know, that costs like 46 or uh, 42,000 euros, something along those lines. So. Jesus Christ. Yep, Get which is money. which is about it equals one hundred and seventeen thousand dollars, and one one seven. Whoa. See, oh, what did. is it? John C one seventeen, right? That's the yeah. John one one seven. Yeah, this is is his thing. Let me see. I'm gonna pull up if I can find it real fast. Here you go. Ten expensive things you could buy. So I mean, sorry for I'll I'll post some of these on our Twitter, uh, so you can see what I'll put. I'll post all ten of these. So that's what I'm talking about. It's not really a seahorse, but it says floating sea house. That's what it looks I'm like. I'm assuming they just called it seahorse. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing, but it, it just looks like a weird floating... That would be cool to own one of those. It looks pretty awesome. That's a... I wouldn't buy a Bugatti. Me neither. Just uh, a Bugatti. I love how it's like... That's the Doomsday Bunker. It doesn't look too bad. You made it sound way worse. It's true. I mean, look at that washer, though. That washer is, like, from 1980s. Yeah. Could be worse. <laughs> so... The watch. Damn, Look at that, that watch Greek house, though. though. Yeah, oh, yeah. Pretty. Hey, your money goes far in other countries. Yeah. You got yeah. it. So, that's that Sapphire watch we were talking about. Uh, jet. Yacht. That's the diamond. Sorry about it. It's got that insignia, so. I'll post all these pictures. Uh, and that's why you should probably follow 
Pause reviewed pod on Twitter so you can get all the external. You guys don't have an Instagram? Have. Oh, we do. I'll post it there too. Yeah. But if you do Twitter, you might as well follow the Instagram, right? I mean, it's, it's one of the same, same. It's the same. It's the same thing. username, right? Yeah, exactly. It's the same thing everywhere. Perfect. So, all right, we got the rapid fire facts section. So these are kind of the super basic ones uh, that you can find about. Again, these whenever whenever we do new. It's harder for me to find facts whenever we do newer stuff, especially ones that are more side. I'm sure I'll have no problem finding stuff for Black Widow, right? Or Fast and the Furious. Because I can, I mean, those have a huge catalog of older stuff that I can search from. But something like this, brand new thing, only been out for four days at this point. Kind of hard to find some facts, but hit us with it. Uh, the first fact is this is the first adult animation Netflix original title, so apparently they haven't done a lot of American-oriented adult films. Yeah, they have they have a lot of animation on uh, animated stuff on Netflix, but yeah, this is the first adult original. Mm -hmm. Netflix original. Uh, this is the fourth animated project in which Will Forte plays Abraham Lincoln. This past pro projects include Clone High. Great stuff. I love that. Lego Movie, also a good movie, and uh, worked on by, uh, what's their names, Lord Miller, who also worked on this, uh, and the Lego Movie too, uh, which I still haven't seen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the reoccurring. Did I... Oh, oh no, I did see it. I was like, did I see the second Lego Movie? I, I did. I, I don't. Haven't. I don't remember. The first one was the good one. So. Yeah, that's why everyone says. That's why I never watched the second one. Yeah. Uh. The reoccurring joke of George Washington misattributing quotes to the Bible is loosely based on true events. Washington was known for using familiar biblical idioms in his regular vocabulary. His most used passage being a Hebrew blessing, the, that every man shall sit safely under his vine and under his fig tree. So I did that, not know. <laughs> I didn't realize that was real either. That's why I did. And that was the, that was another fact. I don't know if you pass over. Is that there's a oh whoopsies. the sledgehammer uh, the blacksmith uses has the words property of John Henry engraved on the side. Who John Henry was an American folk hero known for winning a rock chiseling race against a steam powered rock drilling machine. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> and uh, but he, after his victory, he died from exhaustion with the hammer in his hand. Yep. And so I guess the blacksmith was loosely based on him. That's what I thought it was. When literally I, when I working yourself to death. I mean, to beat to prove a machine. That, that man was better than machine. Yeah, that ain't true no more. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then usually we like to do a deep dive into the, trying to find a fun fact about the film or something. And we really couldn't get one this time. No, there was, there was no deep fact. I think the deep facts no are really all within one. the content of yeah. the movie, if you we will. We did. We do. If you're going to watch this, which I... We'll, we'll get to it, but I do recommend watching this. Just pay attention. This is not one that you want to be like on your phone or doing something else with. A lot of visual jokes. There's, there's a lot of visual jokes in it. There's a lot of just internal things. It is... There's a lot of pop culture references in it. So it's, it's one of those... You're rewarded... For knowing American history and pop culture very well. Yep. They have jokes constantly throughout this. So pay attention to pretty much every second of this. Don't blink. The entire movie. Just duct tape your eyes open. And uh Yeah, just you'll you'll that's that's my crazy deep one for you is you will get more deep knowledge stuff in this than anything uh from this movie. <laughs> so a lot a lot of side jokes and stuff. So but that's the facts section. Yeah. We've done it. There's not much else to it. It's time to get into the meaty meat. Well, there's the f fill me up section first. Which f that I, says that we only I, need to uh, do that if we're bad at timing. I don't, I don't know. what What is our timing looking like? Dad, yeah, we're looking... Okay. I mean, usually we go for another 10 minutes before we get to this point, but it's okay. <laughs> so we got the, what did I call this the last time? I called it the, the swerve and derve because I don't like to fill me up anymore. It's too. I don't remember what you can I don't mind it. it yeah. But it's something along those lines. So we got a whole thing. Do you, here's what I can, we, we can chat about during this section that I got, we're I got definitely a not you. doing to fill. Okay, hit me with it. Did you like the, the Fast and Furious references? Oh yeah, of course. Okay, as oh, yeah. soon as, as, soon as oh, the there's scene a bunch. came on, they had a they had a Scrubs reference in there. They had a Scrubs reference. It was on the rules. It literally oh, had one that said no Scrubs. <laughs> damn it! 
I missed So, uh... The rules are so quick, because they were yeah. only on one poster, and I didn't mm-hmm. want to pause to read them, I just wanted yeah. to keep going. We could, we could go, I mean, we could talk, this entire podcast could just be talking about all the little jokes that they had I liked Paul Bunyan and his this. giant ax, and his giant, uh, <laughs> ox, I thought that was right? awesome. They had that, uh, which they do show in the trailer, that's true, so... Yeah. Well, I guess we did talk about. It. We'll go I a like little Simon spoilery. Pegg as the Simon Pegg was King James. Yeah, yeah. So that was that was another fact is that during this time it was technically so King James was technically from. I think the the one that was shown in this was King James the first was the actual character that was played, but that one was from like the thirteen hundreds or fourteen hundreds, and this this movie takes place in the 1700s right so during that time i think it was king henry the third who was actually the king of of england at the time huh so uh technically it was a, a miss they had the a different king during it but i anyways. don't so i know yeah, Simon Peck my american that. history isn't too bad like i remember a fair bit of it that's why i, I have ask. no idea if benedict arnold was the one that actually i don't think he had any involvement in this whatsoever i think they just stuck him in because they could benedict arnold yeah no i mean there was a whole that was his he, he was he a general it. at the time oh yeah okay yeah, I, yeah. I, I just didn't remember oh, yeah. that well that's that's what <laughs> i will say that history was not a subject i was very good at in school it was one of my least favorite and i was very bad at it because it's just a lot of fact remembering and i thought it was all useless information but now i regret it because of this movie i mean this movie alone it's the only reason i wish i knew american history better <laughs> you got to see so. sam adams slam some beers so that's pretty cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> that also uh what's his name jason manitakis man Manizo- Manizo- i don't know man- yeah manzokas yeah manzokas thank Manzoukas. you Manzokas. yeah he's i i i like him a i've lot. been hearing his voice a lot because he's been mm-hmm. doing a lot of voice acting yeah because he plays the he plays rex in invincible that's right yeah yeah and i really liked him in that no. role was yeah. he oh yeah he's rex yeah, yeah he's yeah, rex right. he throws the he's nah, gambit he's basically he's mm-hmm. a gambit <laughs> in in that show so and i i like his work a lot uh shane tatum surprised me i didn't yeah like i i was i didn't i i knew it was shane tatum but then i forgot halfway through the movie it and then shane i looked it up tatum. again and was like yeah. oh it's shane tatum fuck so i guess we should get in for for actually getting into the meeting meat we'll just we'll, we'll you know as i said we'll swerve and derve we'll, we'll swerve in and then we'll swerve out sure, or sure, sure, sure. whatever it is but the cast for this is insane i'm just gonna read off some of the people and who they played because it's very good which i don't even need to look at this because i actually all these actors are people i know pretty well you know yeah. uh i know daya loved judy greer's character dude I sh- like i heard the sh- she plays cheryl and archer and i yeah. heard her voice and like you just it just brings it. me like a like a certain sense of glee i always remember her from uh arrested development she plays a character oh that. yeah so that's, that's where i i remember her from but she's again she's done a lot of stuff too she's she's another person that does a lot of voice acting uh but also all, she just pops up in random movies all the time i like so. i i was happy i when the trailer came out for this movie and they 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 had showed that the blacksmith was going to be played by killer mike right I, 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 he hasn't got done, like, voice acting, does a lot of rapping, he raps for Run the Jewels, and he does, like, that kind of stuff, and I, like, like, like a lot of his music, so I was, like, I have to, I have to watch this to see how he does, and he, he was okay, like, I, like, it was definitely his first time voice acting, like, right. they didn't do anything unique with it, but it was fine, uh, yeah, Channing Tatum is George Washington, I guess we didn't say his character, it's yeah, George he's Washington. Washington, so he's the main, main character in this, you got Will Forte as Abraham Lincoln, like we mentioned, uh, for a little while, <laughs> so simon Pegg was king james uh and then the one that is it took me a, i don't know why it took me a minute to realize but then i heard him then you can never think andy samberg was i i had Benedict a hard time Arnold. i knew it was him but yeah. i had a hard time connecting it he he went really hard on the 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 accent too yeah he uh oh god what did what did he say in it he was emphasizing the certain british sounds or something like that being super stereotypical british so uh who else was in it? olivia munn yep uh, is played s- tesla or thomas, no, edison. thomas edison yeah <laughs> thomas edison so uh drawn i don't know uh, 
I don't know who, like, I don't know the voice actor that was behind Geronimo. Like, I don't know that person that wrote, like, I've never heard them do anything before. Chihulio? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I recognize, I mean, that last name, I feel, I don't know if he's related to, like, Joe Lo, Tru, with Joe Lo Trulio? No, Tru, hands in the air for that one, bud. Who's that? Oh, no, it's different spelling. Never mind. I don't know. Regardless, yeah, the, this cast, it's, it's a great cast. It's a great cast of people yeah, yeah. who... <laughs> played a bunch of american heroes and stuff the jokes are if i'll I'll say if you like archer then it's very they go a little further than archer humor especially in the absurdist like it's very absurd so like we we mentioned i i wish i knew american history a little better i do know pop culture so i got a lot of the references like we said there was i'm assuming you got some of the like the more like obvious jokes like the john wilkes a merchandise booth joke. yeah like that was, that was that one yeah yep uh they again i'm trying to remember all the movies that they made fun of oh that i mean they did do one thing with the, the bald eagle <laughs> they turned the the right at the that? beginning what was that what was that a reference to uh it was oh shoot what was the movie I can't, I can't think of it off of oh. my head right now. I, oh, I mean, the ending is basically so. just Avengers. Right, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's definitely an endgame. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah, did yeah. an endgame thing for for it. Uh, we did mention Fast and the Furious. So like we said, this is the most factually accurate. Like, they, they did a bunch of... all the, the best way to describe is the overall, all the big ideas they push, all fake. <laughs> but it was the very <laughs> fine details that are actually factually accurate like they made a joke about george washington inventing peanut butter that, uh, that's a real thing yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know they they make the tiny so it's all the tiny details that they have throughout this that are all actually true and it's basically all the forgotten history that no one really discusses it's that pop trivia stuff also, that no it, one realizes is true well they all but, well there's also make fun of stuff that is believed to be true like right, george washington right. never cut down a cherry tree no so that's not a real thing but it's just that story is so often told they definitely had a lot of jokes referring to that and that was pretty good they did do a hacker's reference right that was the whole uh, yeah it was the they had the enigma machine yeah from uh technically but the shoot oh the movie so the movie that that scene was actually based off of what swordfish maybe swordfish that was it it's swordfish yeah it looks like swordfish and that's samuel right yeah i think so So that's yeah it was samuel jackson doing that the hacking i think was that scene but they made they did do a whole (laughs) whole useless scene in that uh that was great they oh god and and i know we're definitely into spoilers but again we're just giving small deal trust me we could say everything about this and it still would not it's make too much any, there's too much s- going so on much going on yeah like it's way too much to describe like we said benedict arnold is a werewolf well thomas edison's a woman thomas edison's a woman george washington has chainsaw blade arms uh he he straight up felt like a, he looked like that looks like a Tekken character because there's a there's a girl that can do that in right. Tekken and I was just like what the <laughs> I do love that they make fun of the fact that he has to put gasoline in them to make them work <laughs> yeah he's like damn I ran out of gasoline and we're like what like <laughs> oh man what kind of sick man drains gasoline, <laughs> gasoline out of someone else's chainsaw while they're falling asleep <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh god what what else as i said we could go all day about all the references oh i guess we didn't mention there's cars in this like they made fast and the fierce but they're not cars all of they're racing horses they're racing horses horses yeah they're racing horses but the horses when they had they had the lone ranger scene with uh, geronimo, geronimo yeah. was the lone ranger geronimo's intro is great. and he was driving a motorcycle <laughs> but Whoa, a horse that got me which so is giant good. like the low rider horse with giant handlebars on the side <laughs> so oh they 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 referenced the horse drift meme that's a reference to when they're drifting the horse under a carriage it's a reference to an old bollywood meme that was really popular for a while. Was it? Yeah. I know that scene. I mean, they had the whole arm. What was that? That whole scene was based off of a movie, They too. did Mission Impossible, by the way. Yes. Yeah. I was going to say they had Mission I Impossible I thought about you because we went to go see yeah. that recently, and I was like, oh my god, they're I, doing Mission Impossible. I guess we didn't, we didn't explain exactly. Like we said, this is a ridiculous movie. It's the most factual and 
factually inaccurate movie at the same time. But the best way to describe this movie is imagine if all of American history, all of American history, happened in one moment in time. They just combined all of American history and threw it into 1776. That was that was what they did. They built the Washington uh, Monument and then the Lincoln <laughs> Memorial right after one, one after another. Right. It was great. And the, yeah. And all including all the all the references and everything. You know, they had people making up songs and stuff that are popular these days, pop songs and stuff. That was that, that was Bruce on. Springsteen references for Right. Most yeah, of they them. had Bruce, okay. yeah, a lot of Bruce uh springsteen so but it, it's the same thing imagine stereo all the the stereotype american stuff and that that goes for even like i think the biggest thing was the tv shows and the movies that they referenced were things that when you look at you're like yeah that's a very american staple yeah kind of show yeah, yeah. uh but ima- yeah imagine all of these things all happen in, in one moment. i mean the copy so. for this movie goes like this it's a oh yeah, we didn't do the copy. Yeah, yeah it's a 2021 copy. animated uh, science fiction parody black comedy film. So that's that's a lot of things all condensed <laughs> into one. It's loosely based on the founding fathers of the United States of America uh, during the American Revolution. Uh, it's made by it's directed by Matt Thompson and written by Dave Callahan. Uh, the film is rated R. At, the film is a rated R untold, historically accurate retelling of George Washington's fight against the British. In an alternate world and timeline, President George Washington must go to war to free the country from the British Army to retrieve the Declaration and save his wife Martha and <laughs> the death of his best friend Abraham Lincoln. But to do so, he must recruit rebel rouser Sam Adams, Chinese-American female scientist Thomas Edison, uh, fastest, oh God, <laughs> fastest racist in the colonies, Paul Revere, <laughs> Uh, Native Chief Geronimo and Blacksmith John Henry to rally more allies for the American Revolution and defeat King James and the traitor Benedict Arnold. Arnold, Arnold, Arnold. <laughs> so that's the copy. If that made any sense to you, uh, yeah, the movie makes less sense. So It's kind of, it's something you just, like, you should watch it at least once, one way through, just for the comedic value. But if you right. ever just put it on in the background, you can look up and see something interesting, probably. Yeah. Yeah, again, the, this thing, uh, the animation and stuff was good. They did, oh, the, the, the dream sequence scene that they had, where they were making fun of, <laughs> of spending the budget. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was based on Reservoir Dogs, I think. Really? What, yeah, it was the, is the room at the, uh, Reservoir Dogs, right? That's the one with mr yeah yeah yeah. yeah. reservoir dogs it's it's the the, it's it's exactly the hideout they got the even the furniture where it is and stuff in the same place oh my god you're right yeah yeah. oh (laughs) how did i miss that oh no i feel so dumb god damn it uh we already talked about the characters we talked about the people who we kind of described the world and oh is that what they (laughs) is that what they benedict cosby arnold i don't know what the joke is there i think they're making fun of bill cosby but no i think there's something else to it is it is that actually that maybe that's his middle name i don't know i don't know i feel i don't know either way (laughs) oh they have the voice actor for the horse that's clyde (laughs) yeah uh legacy action vision direction from the king what the heck you wanted to rave about and nerd out about who is the who is the nurse that they had in it Oh, uh, I, I'm totally. I always forget the nurse's name because it. it again, it's a Betsy real... Ross, but I don't think that's Betsy Ross. It could be. I think that is Betsy Ross. I think that's so. Exactly she made the flag, is. and she's also a super steampunk nurse who can do anything. No, no. no oh, I no, forgot no. that he turns into RoboCop at one point. <laughs> Paul Revere becomes RoboCop at one point. <laughs> yep, Robo Centaur Cop. Yeah, wasn't. Paul Revere, not the race. It says fast. Oh, fastest racist. That's right. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah, because he, he thinks the word racist in the story means... <laughs> Race to courses? Be a, yeah, to be a racist. <laughs> That's the Fast and Furious reference there. <laughs> God. Oh. Uh, this... It, it's a... This is a movie I feel that you would want. And I'm not advocating... Ah, we're in Washington, whatever. Huh. Uh... Oh, to get a get a high, high do an watch. enhanced viewing yeah. of one might say. Get drunk, watch it, something along those. You can lines. make a drinking game out of this movie really easily. 
what would the drinking game be? You would start with every time George Washington says John three sixteen. <laughs> every time, start. every time he makes a, a Bible reference. Yeah, every time, <laughs> or misattributes my re- yeah. Bible reference. Uh, I don't know. There, you could easily do it. Anytime Sam Adams talks about beer, you could do something. Or he's a racist. Or is a racist. Or a real racist. <laughs> or a misogynist. <laughs> yeah. Anytime he says anything offensive ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. It's weird. The, we went to go see a different movie at the start of this week that we thought we might review. And I was like... Yeah, Zola. Yeah. So we went to go see Zola. We, we can talk about that a little bit if we want. I mean, it was... Well, no. The, the, the reason I find it funny is the fact that I had brought two movies up and both of them were just like very unique messes yeah. Yeah. in their, <laughs> in their own both... very different ways yeah <laughs> i like zola i'll be honest i like I, I did I, I like zola i also i think there's things to like about america i'm not a huge fan of it personally but the, you know, america the motion picture sorry america the motion not picture. not a lot of things to like about america as a whole <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah i mean i think it does deserve more airplay and the reason i think that is because i really do like lord and miller I don't think this is their best product by, like, a country mile, easily. Yeah. Like, especially thinking, considering uh, Spider-Verse, considering uh, uh, Lego Movie. Right. And, like, they've also worked on a lot of other stuff that, like, could have been better. They were originally the directors for Solo. Was Star that Wars story? yeah? And then they were they were that was the, the then people they got booted pulled, booted out of it right yeah. yeah and then that Ron was Howard a, took over, a which was thing. a horrible choice. Woo! Yeah, I just don't think Ron Howard would deliver on that, and he didn't. So no. <laughs> he's too. I want to know if simple. there is a cut out there of of the original solo. I I don't know if they got if the that production got shut down uh, and how early it got. I mean, yeah. I, I, I because Edgar Wright late, Edgar yeah. Wright had written all of uh, the first Ant Man movie technically. That's right. Yeah. yeah, and then he was supposed to direct it, but they didn't let him. Uh, Marvel wouldn't have let him have enough uh, creative control. That's fair enough. So, there, yeah, they they can be. They got a lot of creative freedom in this one. That's for sure. I hope so. I, I and the thing is, like, like the advantage of being something like Netflix is that hopefully that means that they do more of this kind of stuff. But if it doesn't get the plays they want, then they won't. Oh, it's definitely not going to get the plays it wants. I think they, it feels like they're already shoving it down. I mean, the suggestions. I, there was n- nothing. I mean, you didn't see it when it came up. I think it was it showed up in Netflix on the front page for July fourth, and that was That's it. it. I haven't seen it. Yeah. I went because I watched this. I had to dig. I had to search yeah, for it to find I had to, it to I had watch to manually it. search for it. It's yeah. not even on like trending now or Netflix original shows or anything. It's not on any of those. And I so. think it's because it averages out. Uh, all the reviews I've seen have averaged out as a five. I gave it a five personally, right? Because I think there's a lot of stuff to love. And there's a lot of stuff to not love. Yeah. <laughs> this is a movie that I think we talked about. You hate that you loved it. Cause, but you're glad you went on the journey in the first place. Right. I think it's definitely worth watching. As I said, uh, get inebriated in some way, though. And yeah. Then watch it. I think you have more fun. <laughs> Enhanced views. Right, definitely, I suggest for this. Uh... I, love, I love these kind of movies because, again, it makes me feel like a smart person. What do you mean? Even though I don't know American history, I pick out all the pop culture reference, and I'm like, I get those. I got uh, that. I mean... I get it. Some of them are obvious, but there's there's the small ones that I'm like, ha, no one else would get that, but I get it. Look you got me. me. Well, I'm surprised I missed the Reservoir Dogs Yeah. One. Reservoir Dogs. Like, I'm really surprised about that. Um, the Fast and Furious one, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I know what they're doing. They also reference Magic Mike a lot, because a lot of people that worked on this also worked on Magic Mike. Mike. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else is there is, like... It's hard again. I there's probably so many things that we just don't What's remember. The, trying to think. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. This is a movie that you almost you almost want to watch again. Sadly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to 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 get it again. I think the the Vietnam bar scene was funny. The, ra- the, the jokes about it <laughs> that hurt in a very specific oh, way, God, and I was yeah. like, damn, they're really digging in mm-hmm. on this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's yeah. like we should never gone in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> But we won. Yeah, yeah, we definitely won. We won. Yeah, we definitely won. I mean, you know, he lost an arm, but we won. <laughs> uh, I think that was I want. I don't want to say rush hour, but that that was scene was again. Almost every shot of this movie was based on other movies or TV shows. I'm sure there was a lot. I I feel like 
most of it were were based on other other shots from movies and stuff so um i'm trying to remember like again there we like i said we can go all day this feels like the closest you've gotten to a challenge episode no i feel we uh what was what are some of the other ones that we did we did well, Cruella was one for Nessa. How? How? The movie I don't was... know. It was okay. so good. Okay, Apples to like Oranges. It. This movie is definitely better than America the Motion Picture, in my mind at least. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay? I'm just saying. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, actually, I guess we haven't. We did Mr. Right, which was pretty good. I, I enjoyed it. I like Sam Rockwell, though, for that one. So, we'll have to do... We'll do a... Maybe we'll we'll have to do like a recap episode or something like that. Just talk about all the all old stuff and how we feel. You gotta about do a them. clip show at some point. Yeah, a clip show, of course. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. we should wait till we're you know a few seasons in, of course, right? Yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, you don't want to pull out the clip show too early. This is gonna go right? on forever. Yeah, we're gonna make a thousand episodes. We're never gonna stop. I hope that's the plan. <laughs> so. What else we got on this outline? Let's get through this. What we a, gave our idea. We gave our ratings. Uh, have we? No. Uh, you gave a rating. Yeah. You gave a real rating. Oh, okay. I'll give. I'll give my. I'll give, this. You know what this gets? This gets a. You give an American rating. This gets one silver bullet into one werewolf's head. <laughs> That's what this gets. <laughs> Make of that what you will. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, more. Uh, Watch the movie. <laughs> Watch the movie. Yeah, I was gonna say that it, it gets a a thirteen out of colonies. Thirteen colonies. Thirteen colonies. Out of one That's British rule. Did. Out of one British rule. <laughs> uh, there this, was uh, this gets this gets a dinosaur, a Hulk Hogan out of an American Revolution. Was that? I'll be honest. I was trying to. Un- I did not actually catch that. There is an a mid credit scene or after credit scene. It's all the jokes they make where they go. Oh, you mean Washington with an E? Yeah, that Washington. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's yeah. With all those. Well, that's what. Are. But I know they were all based on certain things, like you said, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. I think the dra- the T T Rex is a Jurassic Park reference. I don't remember what the last, the last one was. A race car driver. Yeah, and that's I what I was trying to figure out. Was like. I was just trying to figure out the references there. That was the one that I, I literally paused and I was like, what are they referencing here? Because there's a few things. Yeah, there's a little yeah, bit yeah. to process in this image here. Yeah. So, uh, I don't, yeah. I mean, overall, that's a... I think it's worth watching, on, honestly. I, so. I, I, I just want them to... I, I, when it comes to production companies like Disney and Netflix... I just like when they toss money at things that are a little out of left field. I think Cruella was a little out of left field for Disney. Right. Yeah. I mean, it was within their, their, their spin of doing revitalized, like, live action stories of their old properties. Yeah. And it's a little boring in that regard. So. But, like, it was... To, to, to think that, two like, a bunch of people came together and said, all right, we want to do a parody about the creation of America, and it has to be really funny and really stupid... And like a Netflix was like, yeah, here's like uh, X good. amount of million dollars. <laughs> you could probably raise here's... a few kids to Germany for this amount of money, but it's fine. Right. <laughs> yeah, I I do hope studios like, I don't know who actually made what was the production company that made I think this? I they're I think that's under the production company of Lord Miller called Free Association, but I'm not 100 sure. Okay, because they that's the what they reference at the beginning uh, when they're de- signing the declaration, like right before that, they it says like oh like signed by the Free Association in 1776 something like that, right? They also right. do that at the beginning of Spider Verse. Uh, they use the old Comics Association logo, but then they called it Comics Free Association. Gotcha. Yeah, and so I think that's their their company. It's kind of like uh, Mission Impossible has Bad Robot. Right. Which is uh, J.J. Abrams? Or is that Tom Cruise's? I think that's Tom Cruise. Yeah, and I so that's Tom all Cruises. Tom Cruise's production mm-hmm. company. It's good. I, I, do, I do agree. I think I want to see Disney. I want to see these companies step out and try out new things. And it's just a shame. I'm always a fan of that. But I'm always a, a shame. You know, it was like... It's, it's the equivalent for me like Mirror's Edge. I think Mirror's Edge was a phenomenal game that was super unique and super awesome... But it just doesn't get the sales and doesn't get the viewing that it needs to at least continue, yeah, continue down the road of actually trying new things. And then we get stuck in a thing of just making 
Call of Duty over and over again, and and a game just seeing the same twelve it's okay. IPs. It's okay. Over and over, and Battlefield has a grappling hook now. Everything will be better. <laughs> but it's Battlefield. That's my point. I just, I, I really wish people would support new IPs, but it's hard. It's hard to get people to change. They always want it's to stick to. It's hard from a production company because they need to have that trust, and it's hard yeah. from a viewer because well, you don't know it, what you're it, getting into. Again, it, it's one of those like these companies do want to make new products. They want to try to make new things but they never give it a chance they, why risk it right i mean yeah. the end of the day they're a business and they're trying to make money and if they're gonna make way more money doing old ips making another elder scrolls game than trying to make starfield a good example what are they of gonna this do, thing right a good example <laughs> of this thing that does work and but it can still misfire is marvel right now uh, we wouldn't get a show like Loki and its weirdness that's going on. Uh, we wouldn't get a Gardens of Galaxies had had not Avengers done well, had not like you know all the other things that they've been doing had had gone well. If those things had not gone well, they would have never risked the the cool stuff about like you know like all the cool cosmic bullshit or like Doctor Strange and all the magic stuff. Like they they would have they would have made it much more tamer. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And it's why it's why I want to see these companies step out of the comfort zone because they. I, I have risk more trust is in good. To do it. Yeah, I have more trust in Netflix to do it than I do in Disney. Netflix is throwing a lot of money at a lot of different things, trying to create original stuff. And but they also they did have their safety run. They did. Uh, Marriage Story was a Noah Baumbach production, who's, okay. who who does a lot of that kind of writing and stuff like that. He talks. He does a lot of like, uh, very small oriented. Uh, like family like small family focused sometimes dialogue movies uh they had uh what's his name do the irishman that was scorsese scorsese yeah yeah so or, it's like it's like they they also had yeah, to have a little bit of time where they played it safe before they started throwing shit at the wall kind of yeah it's true they uh there, there's so many i mean if you actually look at netflix though they have so many original shows they have a ridiculous amount of original shows but they hide a lot of them away if you go down their original show list, it's it's there are shows you're like, what, who who who's ever watched this? Who's I mean, they, just, they also just bought a lot of stuff too, mm-hmm. like, and they, they that's what I mean. They just threw money. I mean, I I don't think they were doing any of the production themselves, really. I think they do now, maybe a little more. They get involved a bit more, but I think they really were just buying companies up and, and just you know what you should watch because I know you're starting to get into anime a little bit. I haven't started yet, not yet. You should watch Dora Hero. Twelve episodes on Netflix. It's super short, super fast. I still don't want to open those floodgates, man. Just I'm do trying it. to avoid just, it. Just do it, John. If I open those floodgates, there is no end. And yeah, but that I will like, never have a life. It's like when again. you started reading comics for the, or when you started watching the comic book, whatever you did, however you started on Marvel, it's like that. It, there's an infinite amount of content, but that doesn't mean that you didn't take a dive, and you knew when to stop and when to care and when not to care. No, not really. <laughs> stop this. I just don't have the money. <laughs> To really get into comic, deep dive into comics. Again, a lot of it is just Wikipedia deep dives. Just get on, and then you go from Wikipedia jump. And yeah, but that's like different, go. right? Like it's not like just you're wording. you're not spending your time watching. Sorry, I, I had to read a chat comment where it said I had a better beard than you, and I. Thank well, that's you. just true. I mean, uh, but like, I don't know. How like, long have you been growing that beard? I never shaved. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't know, man. Like. I think that, like any other type of film or a book or comic or video game, it's just you get what you get. It you you can put in some amount of time and get out something out of it, and like you don't have to worry about investing more or less. That's on you. That's on your self control. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Still. And you're already scared of you're already scared of anime. You already said I it. Are, yeah, man. Yeah. I know I'm going to enjoy it too much. That's the, that's the dangerous thing. I know I'm going to enjoy anime too much, so if I start, there's no end. There's so much out there. Everyone has, like, 12 plus that they want to recommend to you. Some of them are, like, 30 seasons long. I don't know, man. Just don't watch too Naruto. Much. You don't need to do that. You're too old for it now, anyways. <laughs> don't watch Bleach. It's not worth it. The first season's good, and after that, it's, it's all utter trash. Okay. Do watch Cowboy Bebop. It's 26 episodes. It's one of the best. That's the I've one. Made. I know that's the first one I'm gonna watch. I yeah. can guarantee you. That's the everyone's recommended that one. It's just don't watch. One. Don't watch. Do not watch High School DxD. You are way too old for it, and it'll make you feel uncomfortable. 
It's it. Okay. It's a little fan servicey, a little bit too much. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, don't listen to whoever that is in chat. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? You guys got a plan for next episode yet? Well, like I said, I guess yeah. I, I'm. I guess we should wrap this. I don't. Know, what did? You, what's coming out of my mouth right now? I don't know. Noises. I'm making noises. Nothing. I think we're words are not spewing. <laughs> it's really hard to talk about America because we, like we said, you should just watch it. There's nothing we can. It's an say exhausting about it. movie. That's for sure. We could spoil the ending, and it still wouldn't no. matter. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So just go on and do it. Uh, like I said, one silver bullet and one in one werewolf said is my rating, and you said thirteen colonies away from British rule. Thirteen colonies away. I mean, you know, if you know America, you know how this all plays out, right? They don't. They don't make it a yeah, full... Yeah, spoilers, other... America wins. Like, America whatever. wins. Congratulations. <laughs> but how they spoiled. get there, that's the important part. <laughs> oh, ridiculous. I love it. Uh, that was the Guardians reference when they shot the rocket launcher, by the way. That was a Guardians thing going on there. Oh, you're the right. Yeah. I just, I, it just clicked in my brain. See, they, they just they referenced they everything. They like, held hands and everything, <laughs> too, basically. Yeah, God damn it. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, I guess we'll end this episode at some point. I have another really rating. It. Okay. One beer out of one tea. One beer out of one tea. Got it. That's right. America versus Britain. Beer versus tea. That's how it goes. So. <laughs> well, I'm, I, I know I can feel in my gut this was a very hectic episode, so I hope you guys followed along. Next week, Nessa should be back. We are probably going to be talking about Fast and the Furious. More than likely, it's not. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm 99 percent. Nessa's favorite actor is Vin Diesel, so anything Vin Diesel will ever be in, that's that will be. We will get to that <laughs> as soon as possible, which I don't mind. I'm okay. I'm okay talking about Fast and the Furious. That might be a very long episode. I'm and slowly, slowly working her. I want to start getting to where we do hour and 40 minute episodes. It's a bit long. But I feel we're already heading that direction. And it's just like, I mean, why fight it? Time Don't flies by it. when you're with your family. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, good amount of memes coming out of that. So Yeah, we'll probably do that. Uh, I did mention earlier that we did do Black Widow. So we watched Black Widow, or me and Daya did. Nessa still will need to. We will probably do that in maybe two weeks is the plan. Oh, you should uh, watch uh, someone in the chat. He keeps telling me. Mitchell's versus Mitchell's Machine. It's so Machine. good. Uh, we'll it's also a Netflix it. original. That sh- that also deserves attention. Just saying. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. And I, it's by the same I, animation I heard team it got that very did mediocre. Spider-Man. Yes, I, I was aware. It was why I was interested. But and man, you'll really I, like we got it. a backlog. I got a list. I got a list of a bunch of stuff that we, we have. We got so many movies coming out now. I mean, we we talk uh, about Shang Chi. Shang Chi's August. Uh, we probably won't. July is. We should do Snake Eyes. You guys should do Snake Eyes at some I, point. I I don't know. If Nessa would. Lo- I'm sure she'll like Snake Eyes. I don't know if we'll talk about. It. I don't know how big of a GI Joe fan she is. So, I don't know. Like that's one I'll probably have my own personal review of. But I don't know if I'll have a. If you want to do podcast. this again, that's the. I thing know we're the- going to see Snake Eyes together. It's, it's going true. to happen. Yeah, I think I. We need to buy tickets. I'll I'll buy tickets. When when is it? Is it next 23rd. week? Twenty third. It's twenty third. Yeah, we're like two weeks next. away. So yeah. I'll buy tickets like tonight or something. So I know what movie you guys won't review. Zola. No. Well, yes, and also, <laughs> I I doubt you guys will see Jungle Cruise. I don't know why. I know Ness is not excited about it. I don't. I'm not. Excited I'm not about excited it. about it. So. But maybe that's why we'll have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it'll be a perfect movie for this podcast. Uh, another page. No, that's it. He's <laughs> goodbye on one page. I didn't try to organize it that way, so I just type in them wherever long it goes. Because some of these, I, I do a lot of copy and pasting stuff. So. Yeah. But that's what we got. Those are the teasers. That's the oh, teaser for uh, the uh, for the next for the next uh, podcast. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed. I uh, will say that, you know, make sure you check out. We talked about I will be posting some supplemental uh, images. content and images and stuff on social media. If you haven't watched the other episodes, I think we we have we've had some really good ones. Honestly, the last last like four or five have been really stellar. So if you haven't listened to those, if you're new, you can start at the beginning, skip over Outriders, and then do all the other episodes. I was talking, I was just Ew, I hated that episode so much. I I did poorly. Nessa didn't play the game enough to really deep dive into it as much either, and I didn't want to spoil it for her. And 
it's why we just kind of threw out the whole like let's not go into spoilers because she doesn't care and uh i talked about i cut out like three entire sections on that episode it was bad i just i took out three entire conversations we had because i was just not a fan it's all all really boring so well uh if you like hearing my voice uh and also you want to hear it next to john's you can check out episode seven of the revelations podcast which is a podcast me and amelia uh who's a friend of mine host we talk about game development and other stuff uh we're on hiatus right now but we are planning our next episode so that'll be out soon hopefully yeah Uh, Yeah, day has his own podcast he does now so yeah uh you might hear more of me i might come on for a few guest episodes every so often uh here but otherwise yeah thanks for hanging out with us thanks for checking out and yeah check out the movie and we'll see you next time yep day will be back you'll see him again i hope you guys go watch america go watch black widow go watch all the movies because you'll hear about them here and uh i hope you guys have uh the great you you enjoy the greatest media ever created america the motion picture the motion picture we'll see you later